Hello and welcome to module nine, the FHRP concepts. All right, don't forget to take your notes and submit them when, you're all, when we're all done. All right, so um, let's begin. So FHRP, which stands for first hop redundancy protocol is mainly to uh, give us a redundancy in terms of a gateway. So in case you lose your gateway for whatever reason, um, hosts will automatically reroute themselves and go and use a standby router or gateway to go to their destination. All right, so this is to have a backup um, gateway that automatically um, will be uh, active when the primary one fails. All right, so the definition, here's what I want you to write. FHRP stands for First Hop Redundancy Protocol, is to allow redundant default gateways in a LAN. And here's what I want you to write. Number one, a virtual router. The definition for that is multiple routers working together as if they were one router by sharing the same IP and MAC address. Okay. Uh, IPv4 address is, is assigned to all hosts. Number That's number two. Number three, when an ARP returns the MAC address of the virtual router, frames are sent to the physical router, the active one, to be processed. Number four, a protocol such as HSRP, that stands for Host Standby Routing Protocol, is the one that is responsible for processing the frames between the virtual and the physical router. Okay, and number five, the HSRP allows one of the multiple routers to be active while the others are on standby. All right, so what I'm saying is the following. So this is the, this is all these three routers are one virtual router, right? Considered to be one virtual router and it have one IP address, a virtual IP address, okay? So uh, these PCs are going to be configured to the virtual router default gateway, okay? If th when this is active, I'm going to make this active, so all the PCs will go to the, uh, when they come in here, um, HSRP will send their information to the active router, and this will be routing used. These two will be standby. If this failed, the HSRP will deactivate this, bring the next one up, and these two guys, they're always sending their data to the virtual router, right? But HRP, HSRP intercepts it, and he knows which one is active, and he will send in for your information to that active router instead, or that active router, I guess, in this case, and so on. All right? Uh, so that's that. Here are, oops, I'm sorry. I want to go over the different options. So I definitely want you to write these down, all of these options. You don't have to write the descriptions of them, but at least write the different options. So let me go over them with you. The HSRP, that's a Cisco proprietary. There's another one for V6. There is the VRRP version two, the virtual router redundancy. That's an open source. It's going to allow several routers on a multicast link to use the same virtual IPv6 address, IPv4 address. In VRRP configuration, one router is elected as the virtual router master with the other routers acting as backups um, in case the, v, the virtual router uh, master fails. So this is another way of uh, doing it if you have a non-Cisco uh, router, I guess. Uh, Version 3 is more scalable than version 2, and it supports IPv4 as well, IPv6 as well. Um, what else do you need to know? Uh, the GLP BP, that's the Gateway Loading Balancing Protocol. That's also a Cisco proprietary. Just like HSRP and VVRP, load balancing is called load sharing. Uh, between groups of redundant routers. You can do that if you want to use the rest of the link. You, you can use all routers at the same time, which is probably a good idea. If, if one fails, you just have two left. If another one fails, you just have one left. So you can share the gateways all at the same time it's just instead of just having them stand by. And of course, there is the one for version 6. 
All right, let's take a, let's talk about the HSRP, the hot standby routing protocol. All right, here's what you need to know. Number one, write these down. Multiple routers should have the same configuration except for the default gateway. The default gateway should be unique, but in the same subnet. Number two, assign the same virtual IP address to all default gateways. The virtual IP address must be in the same subnet. All right, so these two routers have to be configured physically in the same subnet as the, okay, three different gateways. In other words, one here, one here, and the virtual router. And all three of them, the virtual router, R1 and R2, have to be in the same subnet. You see, uh, 172.16.2, the virtual router is dot one, and R2 is dot three. Is that clear? All right, so you got to do that. Number three, by default, the router with the highest IPv4 address will become the active default gateway. So HRSRP will look at these two routers and say who has the highest IPv4 address, default gateway, and it'll become the active router. You probably don't want to do that, though, right? Uh, to change that, change the priority number to anything less higher than 100. Okay, because 100 is the default gateway. So please write that down to change the act to make sure that you have an active uh, to, to change the router to make it active. You got to make sure that the priority number is higher than 100. The default is 100. So you make it like we always use 150. If you change the priority number to a number higher than 100, please write this down as well. Then you must force an election of the active routers by typing the command preempt, standby, uh, standby space preempt. Pre if you just change the priority number on this router, it's not going to become an active router unless after that you type standby preempt. Preempt means, okay, let's start an election, and then he'll become um, the active router because now he has a standby priority number of, let's say, 200. So if you type standby uh, priority 200 and you just left it there, it's not going to become an active router unless you type in preempt, which we start the elections and the routers and the virtual router will say, aha, this guy has a higher priority than we, he's going to become the active router. All right. So the last thing also I want you to write down is to configure the host with the virtual IP address as the default gateway. So these hosts, the, their default gateway is this one, right? Not this or this. It is the virtual, right? So they send their information to the virtual, and the HSRP, he's the one who's going to decide which one is active and send your data there. Exactly, software-wise. All right, so that's that. We talked about the preempt. So um, the other thing that I want you to know is please write down these states because I remember these came up on the exam, on the CCNA test. So the HSRP states are initial, learn, listen, and speak. And speak means, please write this down so you'll know, that the router sent periodic messages and actively participate in the election. So when you do the preempt in the beginning, they go through initial learn state and then they start speaking. All right. And standby means the router is just waiting to be waiting to be of uh, the active router. Right? Somebody fails. All right. So and that's it. All right. Um on okay, so please write everything down and I will uh, see you on the next video.